Hello and welcome to the fourth part of our tkinter tutorial within Python 3. Where we left off, we have a window that we can generate and it looks like this and we can resize it, close, minimize all that and we can hit quit and we are able to actually exit the window. Now, what we want to add really is on most windows you have you know this like menu bar here and you can hit file and then exit. So the exit button that we built was mostly just for show of you know, how you make a button, how you can event handle with that button, and it just so happens that a quit button is one of the easiest ones to program, so that's what we've done. But really, we're actually probably going to more, more likely want to have a file exit. So I'm going to go ahead and comment these out, and then what we're going to do in this video is actually make a kind of uh, a main menu and have file and exit in that menu. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So we'll just comment this quit button out. We don't really want it there anymore. And let's go ahead and make uh, our menu. So this might get a little confusing. I'd like to confuse myself on these steps as well. So sorry if I do that in advance. So uh, under our define init underscore window self uh, function here, this is where we're going to add our menu. So our menu is actually going to be a part of our main window frame or main frame. Um, so that's where we want the menu to be and then we want to obviously you know put all the little parts of that menu on that menu and so the way it really works usually is you kind of go um, not really top down but maybe down to the top so so first you define you know you, you're gonna define your to let's say you, get, you want a menu bar that goes you can go file exit on you're gonna define the exit which you're gonna append to the file which you're gonna append to the main menu bar which will be appended to the main frame. Okay, so it gets kind of sticky like that to think of it that way, but that's pretty much the way it goes. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first we're gonna say menu, lowercase menu equals capital M menu. Um, and then we're gonna say self.master. And basically what we're saying here is we're saying this is the menu of the main window, okay? Um, then we're gonna say self.master.config and we're gonna say the menu here equals this menu that we've just defined. So we're defining that the, the instance of the menu so far. And this is so we can start adding things to the menu and then we can you know, place the menu um, on there. Now it might get a little confusing. Uh, menu capital M is a reference to something that's built into tkinter, okay? Lowercase menu is something we're just making up. So don't get too confused, just remember lowercase m menu is ours. Capital M menu is something that is a part of Tkinter. Also, this is probably bad practice, but I can't think of a better name than menu. So we're gonna get away with that. So self.master um, equal or self.master.config menu menu. So we've defined the menu. Now we want to create our file object, right? So when we go, I guess I'll just leave this down here for now. So when we go here, we have to make something that is this file button, right? So we're gonna say um, file equals capital menu, menu, uh, menu. So it's a menu, file is part of our menu menu. <laughs> and then we're gonna say file.add underscore command. And this command that's a part of our file menu, so like we hit file and then we've got all these things here, right? These are basically commands, right? New file, open, recent files open module, class browser, blah, 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 save, print, exit, close, whatever. Um, these are commands, basically. So now what command do we want to add? Well, we're going to add label equals, we're going to add an exit. Okay, so that's kind of an integral part of your file, you know, file quit, file exit. Um, and then we're going to say the command for this, so kind of remember our button where we said, you know, our label was, you know, whatever. Um, our command equals what? And so our command here is equal to self.client underscore exit. So that's referencing this function that we made a while ago. Okay, so that's our exit. Now we wanna add, basically we've got the command added to file, now we wanna add file to our menu. So we're gonna say menu dot add underscore cascade. So this is, you know, like this is your cascade, right? You hit file and it's like this cascade of options. So menu.add cascade uh, label equals file. And then we're gonna say the menu that we're adding here, right? The menu that we're adding to menu is a uh, file. So this. So as you can see, we've got menus and menus here. So it's like menu, menu, menu. But anyway. Um, 
<laughs> so menu equals menu menu interesting so uh so we've added we've got our exit we've got a file and now what we want to do is like let's say um we could just we probably we could probably get away with this for now so let's go ahead and save and run this let's see if we've screwed anything up so far okay good so we've got a file you click this we've got an exit you can hit exit you'll probably get this little warning here for killing the script but yes okay, so we've got a file and our exit works now what I like to do in, in a tutorial like this especially where we've got a menu is it's one thing to create like one little button and then one thing that you can do in that button but it's another thing to create, like add one more so this might make a little bit of sense to most of you guys but it might still be really confusing so uh, I think probably the most helpful thing to do at this point is to make one more menu item so the next item that typically we have is an edit right and here we have edit undo okay so why don't we add an undo okay or an edit undo so we've got that and now what we want to do is we're gonna go back down here so if you recall we've done basically this is what we created for a file button right and then from that or to that file button, we added an exit and what it, that exit did, right? Um, and that's what we do with these three lines. But these three or these two are just defining the menu, where that menu goes, and all that. Uh, and then it's part of our main window. So now let's go ahead and add um, edit. So here we go edit equals and then menu, menu. So it's part of our main menu. Then we're going to go edit dot add underscore command label equals um, uh, undo okay so uh, we're not gonna really have anything to undo so I'm not gonna add a command to this but as you can see where we've got edit we add the command that we want to edit because if we added edit first and then tried to change it it, it wouldn't necessarily uh, you're, you would almost be d displaying the edit before you've actually made the change so it's kind of like in, in uh, well, we haven't really covered matplotlib, but if you're familiar with matplotlib, we've covered it in Python 2.7 anyway. Wait, the way it works is first you draw something and then you display it. Okay, so if you if you draw it, display it, then draw some more, you have to read display. Okay, uh, you know dot show. You got to redo dot show uh, in order to see the difference. Okay, so it's a lot like a window where you want to make you know exactly what you want, add it and then show the window and it'll be there. But if you first add, you know, let's say file to the window, then you try to add to file, it works, it doesn't really work that way. It's not a good idea to do it that way. So anyway, edit.add command undo. We're not gonna throw in a command because we just don't have a command to do. Um, and, or at, yeah, like literally, you know, you add command to edit, right? <laughs> but that edit, or really basically we're not adding a command to undo so it's really confusing when I say add command but and then we're saying we're not adding a command but whatever anyway edit dot add command and then we're gonna say menu dot uh, add underscore cascade and then what are we gonna add uh, the label is gonna equal edit and the menu is gonna equal um, edit that we're adding basically so we can save that, let's run that, and we get this, right? So we've got file, we can click exit, we've got edit, we can go undo, okay? So now we've got these two little buttons here, and you can basically see the pattern that we go through, so let's exit this. You can see the pattern that we go through to add buttons, right? This is to add your button. Now we could actually just do this, right? If we just, if you just simply wanted to add a button, right? So none of these buttons do it, but say help led to maybe a web page or something. You could just do, you know, something like this, right? And you, now you've got the button, but you don't actually have anything that, you know, pops down from that button. Um, but anyway, we've got that. And so you can see basically how do you add a button. If you only have one option, it looks just like this, just this little three things. Now we could add commands to uh, the button. So we could do something like file, um, maybe something like this. So what if we just added one more line, label, and instead of exit, we want to have save the command. We'll just leave as client exit just for now, just for uh, example purposes. So we can save and run that. And we've got file, and now we've got save exit. Now of course when we hit save, it's going to exit. Um, so we'd want to you know change the function. 
but that's how you can continue just adding things uh, to your menu. So really, making the making of a menu object, you just you know say where you're going to put it. You're going to add commands or you know things that you can do with that, and then at, by the time you're all done with that, you add that ca cascade to the menu. Okay. So uh, that's going to conclude this video. If you guys have any questions or comments regarding this video, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.